Okay, in this one, we've added a couple more components to this thing. Because what we started out with was a, a gas furnace and it had a gas valve on it, but it didn't have a fan motor to uh, blow the heat throughout the structure. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Now, if you look down below, this is now we're getting more to a true ladder diagram. You can see we have more than one circuit. We actually have two parallel circuits here. The gas valve has its own circuit and the fan motor has its own circuit. They're both parallel with each other. Parallel simply means that either one of them can run and that they all get the same voltage. Okay. Let's see where the power is when we start. Okay, now we're seeing where the power would be with the system switch on, the thermostat open, and a fan motor with a heat operated fan switch in another circuit. Okay, so when that thermostat closes, Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, now the thermostat's closed, and as before, the gas valve comes on and gas begins to flow. Okay, that means we have fire in the furnace. But the fan motor does not start because the fan motor is controlled by a heat operated fan switch. So the sequencing here is going to be through the switch, the system switch, through the normally closed limit, through the normally open heating thermostat to energize the gas valve. Then, as the heat exchanger warms, then the fan switch closes, energizing the fan motor. And that's a complete cycling of a... Uh, a gas furnace, a very simple gas furnace. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a control circuit, a 24 volt control circuit, where we use a transformer to change 120 to 24. And we're going to run our controls, or at least some of the controls, off of it. Now that's going to add considerable complexity to this unit.